hey y'all and welcome back to my channel many of you guys may or may not have seen this video that is going viral on social media right now it is a woman proposing to a man that she's been um with for 10 years and has a child with watch and see what happens there's also going to be a couple other videos for you to watch as well be sure to leave a comment down below and to like the video if you want to see more thanks for watching I didn't know what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> yeah, the pressure is on you, not on him, not on him, on me. Um, but I have loved this man for forever. Um, we have a child together and we have a family together. Um, I know he doesn't think much of this um, little shin thing that we've done today, but I wanted to find out. We've known each other for 10 years. I wanted to know if you'd spend the rest of his life with me. Yes or no, Chris? That's it. Yes or no? As an African man, you have to do it the proper way. I'm going to kiss her, man. You want to see that, man? You want to see some juice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to see some juice. Tell us what you do, bro. Come on. Kiss, kiss, kiss. My whole mouth is Kiss, kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss. She proposed to him. Let me tell y'all something. If a man want to marry you, he will. <laughs> if, he, 
and it will not take him 10 years to figure it the fuck out. You understand what I'm saying? It will not take him 10 years and a child to figure out if he wants to marry you or not. If a man wants to marry you, he will. He will. You ain't got to go buy no ring. You ain't got to propose to no man. You ain't got to get down on one knee. You don't. If a man wants to marry you, he will. If a man wants to make you his wife, he will. And if you look at the video, you can see the body language. He said no. His body language said no. It did. It said no. It said no. I don't know why. First of all, first of all, after 10 years, 10 years, waiting 10 years for a man is crazy. A free man at that? Like he's not in jail? Waiting 10 years for a man to marry you? Absolutely the fuck not. And you, you cannot take matters into your own hands when it comes to that type of stuff. You let him. And if he doesn't, guess what? Hit the door. Y'all do everything but leave. Y'all do everything but leave. Y'all take matters into your own hands. He said no. His, just watch the video. The body language said no. The body language said no. No, he's leaning on the snake. <laughs> he shook his head. You know how when women get proposed to, they cry, they scream, they're happy, right? These men that are getting proposed to by women do not have that same reaction. And they never will. Why? Because they didn't want to marry your ass in the first place. Y'all got to stop these proposals to men. Y'all really do. Y'all got to stop these proposals to men. Especially in front of friends and family because they feel obligated to say yes. Even though they really want to say no. And some of y'all be so fucking delusional in the mind, right? You can't even tell that the body language that these men be giving off say, I don't want to do this shit. Fuck y'all piss me off. Oh, the silence is so loud. We really need to stop proposing to men. That is not a justifiable reason. Just because he won't propose doesn't mean that the woman should be proposing. That's just me though. I proposed to my on and off again boyfriend of four years and he said no. Let's talk about it. When I came onto this platform to tell you guys about me proposing to my on and off again boyfriend of four years, I didn't expect for you guys to get upset and judge me and leave hate comments about it. My whole goal of sharing that with y'all was for women to take control in their relationship. I feel like nowadays men have so much control in the relationship and I don't like it. Like, it's up to a man to decide if he wants to marry you or not. And I know a lot of you still won't get it, but like I said before, you don't have a man and you don't know what it feels like to be in love. I actually had some women in the comments who agreed with me and understood that when you see a good man, you don't let him pass you. You take the opportunity. And of course, the question y'all are dying to know is, why did he say no? The proposal was already ruined. When I asked the server to bring out a cheesecake and he brought out a chocolate cake. He hates chocolate cake. Think about it. If your man was about to propose to you and they brought out a chocolate cake when you hate chocolate, wouldn't you say no too because you would feel like your man doesn't know you? Do I feel like he blew it out of proportion? Yes, because he does a lot of things that I hate as well, but I don't say anything. Sometimes he has a haircut and I don't like it. Sometimes he talks to other women and I don't like it. But in a relationship... You have to go with the good and the bad. You have to deal with it. Because when it's good, it's good. And when it's bad, it's only kind of bad. And before you even ask the dumb question, are we still together? Of course we're still together. But I know y'all are like, he's moving away, so how is that going to work? A lot of people do long-distance relationships, so I don't know why y'all are acting so surprised. And if you hate the fact that my man loves me, I don't care. Go cry about it. A lot of y'all are crying in my comments, and I can tell that even if you do have a man, you don't have a good man.